Hey guys, it's iTech every week, and today I'm showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5 Beta 5 and Beta 6. And for those of you who don't know, iOS 5 Beta 6 was just released yesterday. Uh, so if you guys do, so if you guys are on Beta 5, you can just go ahead and do the overlay or update and get on Beta 6. Uh, but if for some reason you want to stay on Beta 5, or if you don't want to download uh, Beta 6, you can jailbreak uh, Beta 5 and Beta 6, both with Red Snow 0.9.8 Beta 5. Alright guys, so there is only actually two things you're going to need, and that is going to be Redstone 0.9.8 Beta 5, and you're going to need uh, the software iOS 5 Beta 5 uh, downloaded to your computer. Uh, so I'll show you guys right here. Uh, I got my iPod 4th uh, generation uh, 5.0 Beta 5 uh, right there. And if you do download these firmwares, they actually aren't specified which beta they are. I actually just add that right when I download them, just not to get confused on which one's which. Uh, so I would actually recommend doing that too. Uh, but I'll put a link in the description for both Red Snow and uh, the Beta 5 uh, softwares. And if you are in Beta 6, the reason you need uh, Beta 5 downloaded is because Red Snow has not been updated to Beta 6 yet uh, to recognize iOS 5 Beta 6. So uh, you have to point it towards Beta 5, which I got right here. Uh, so I'm going to browse for firmware, and right in here is Beta 5. You know how to process the firmware. And then you're going to hit Next, and then just process and patch the kernel. And then once this finishes up, you're just going to go ahead and select Install Cydia. And next. And then this is the DFU mode part of the jailbreak. And uh, this is the hardest part. If you don't get this part right, then the jailbreak might not either go through uh, completely or you might have to do the process over again. Uh, but before we, I actually do this jailbreak, I do want to say that this is a tethered jailbreak, which means every time you turn your device off uh, to get the power back on, or to have everything running, like uh, anything related to Cydia, like packages and tweaks, all that. For that all to work, you'd have to go back into Red Snow and uh, run it and then just boot tethered state. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that right after we complete the jailbreak. All right, so we're going to switch over to the camera now, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're switched over to the camera now. And the first step of the DFU mode is to power it off. So you're just going to simply uh, hold the power button and just slide the power off. Uh, you just want to make sure that it's fully powered off. Uh, so you want to make sure that it's not lit up, like the screen's not a little bit uh, lit up like a black. It's, you have to make sure it's a complete dead black uh, look to it, which is right now. Uh, so the first part of the DFU mode, I'm not going to click Next and Redstone yet, because uh, I want to go through the process so you guys know what you're going to be doing when you click Next, because it does go through the process kind of fast. Um, so right when you click Next, the first thing you're going to do is hold the power button for three seconds. After that, you're going to continue holding the power button and then start pressing the Home button uh, with the power button uh, for 10 seconds. And the camera is not focusing right now. There we go. Uh, so after you hold uh, the power button and home button together for 10 seconds, you'll then release the power button and continue holding the home button for another 10 seconds yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and click next in red snow. And get ready. One, two, three. All right, so three seconds with the power button. Start pressing the home button for 10 seconds with the power button. So you can see I never released the power button yet. Then release the power button and just have to wait another few seconds and around eight or seven seconds I think it does do the jailbreak yeah there we go uh, so you can release the home button now and uh, you can see uh, in uh, red snow it's uploading the first stage now and now it's waiting for the reboot and I'm gonna keep the camera on my iPod uh, but I'm gonna go back to the computer now all right guys so now it is rebooting and you can see it just said down in the jailbreak data on my iPod. Now it's going through the exploit. And uh, while everything else finishes up on the uh, iPod over there, I'm going to go ahead and run through what it says in Red Snow right now. Um, so it says the rest of the process does take place on your device, as you can see it is right now. Um, and now right after jailbreak, uh, it'll boot up, like your iPod, it'll boot up, or whatever you're jailbreaking. It'll boot up, but you will need to uh, rerun Red Snow, as you can see right here. And you have to do it in the just uh, boot tethered mode. So let's go ahead and finish because you can hit finish now. Uh, open up Red Snow again. Browse for that same firmware, beta 5. Let it process it. And then click next. Once it finishes all this up, we are going to uh, tap. We're just going to click on uh, just boot tethered right now. So that is what you will do after it finishes jailbreak. Um, it's not just finished yet. I'm going to skip through some of this part right now until that finishes up so I'll be right back alright so uh, now it is installing the bundles and uh, pretty soon to move the applications into place 
or not. Um, oh, okay. Actually, it didn't. It didn't do any of that stuff like moving the applications. It will on yours if you're not jailbroken. My one was already jailbroken on beta six. So when I installed Cydia, it actually was already installed. So it didn't do the jailbreak completely already. Um, but if it's your first time doing it, uh, it'll say moving applications, and that takes a while. Uh, but everything else uh, should go through smoothly, and your device should boot up, and you see the Apple logo. So now this is the part we have to do DFU mode again. As I just showed you, you have to, you have to browse for your uh, beta five firmware and direct it to that. And now you are going to click on just boot tether right now, like I already did. We're at next. Uh, you power off your device again. Let's go ahead and do that. Make sure it is fully powered off. Um, and if you're watching the iPad right now, I'll tell you when it is. Yep, you can see right now it is. Um, so now the same process as I said before. We're going to do DFU mode again. So right after you hit next, power button three seconds, and you'll be able to read uh, what it says after that. But let's go. So three seconds. Oh, hold the power button with that. I mean, hold the home button with that. Excuse me. And now release the power button. Uh, and keep holding the home button. And now it should go into the DFU mode around eight or seven seconds again. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that'll finish up. And to make sure you did do it right, uh, a pineapple will uh, boot. It'll be right in the middle, like where the Apple logo will be. Uh, it'll be pineapple. So you'll see in a little bit, it should be a pineapple. So that's waiting for their boot. And right after that, it should be the pineapple. Yep, there you go. Uh, so it did work correctly. Now back on Red Snow, it does say it finished. So you can go ahead and tap on finish. And let's wait for the iDevice to boot back up. And when it does, I will be back. So there we are. The iDevice now is now booted up fully. So we're just going to slide to unlock. Scroll over and you'll see Cydia right there. Tap on that. And if it is your first time opening up Cydia, like I already said, I already installed Cydia. Uh, but if it's your first time, it'll ask you who you are. Uh, and this is uh, user, developer, and uh, I can't remember. Oh, I think hacker. I think it's the other one. I can't remember. Positive. I'm, not, I'm not positive that one's hacker or not, but I think that's what they are. Uh, but you can see everything uh, loads up in Cydia perfectly. And uh, your device is now ready to be used. Uh, now, on the iOS 5 betas, uh, the only thing that is bad about them is a lot of the tweaks and stuff, they haven't been uh, made for iOS 5 yet. They didn't uh, make them eligible with iOS 5 yet. A nice thing about being jailbroken on iOS 5 is you can add stuff to the notification center, like some widgets and stuff like that. So jailbroken on iOS 5 just allows you to do a little bit more with your device uh, with the notification center. I have, That's pretty much all I've done was just add stuff to the notification center from that I installed packages from Cydia. That's all I really used iOS 5, uh, the jailbreak for. Uh, but that's all, guys. Uh, you can see that it, it has jailbroken completely. And if you guys run into any problems or have any questions or anything like that, go ahead and feel free to contact me. I'll uh, put my email in the description. Uh, or you can just comment or send me a direct message on YouTube, and uh, I'll respond to you shortly. But that's all for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. And if you did, go ahead and thumbs it up and subscribe for more videos like this. Follow me on Twitter for tech updates and video releases. Hope you have a great day, guys. And this is iTech Every Week, signing out.